Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. Welcome to part 4 of an overhaul on the Sony TC40 tape recorder. So, need to check these idler tires right here at the end of my pencil eraser. You see these wheels right here? The black part is a rubber tire. This is just a bit before uh, direct drive format where that was a uh, in later years that was a gear driven system in this system with idler tires the black part is a rubber tire in fact and we all know what happens to rubber when it gets older it dries out and cracks so on the inside closer in here um, it, there will be cracks generally it would also dry up and expand this type of thing turn rubbery just like your belts so I gotta get in there and check those so this part here I gotta go ahead and remove just lift up on the PC here on the component board take out this other wheel and I've also got to check and make sure this unit has power which it doesn't I gotta I found some cold solder joints up on the board and I got to check for leaky caps as well but first this let me get my belt hooker here and see if this is going to give me a little bit of a okay it's attached on the other side this one is one of the locking screws so let me get a tool and get a closer look at it Okay, with these particular locking washers that are here at the end of my pencil eraser, you're going to have to cover them up with your thumb and finger. They're the ones that when you fly out, they're gone usually. So, you got a micro screwdriver, flathead. Alright, got it. Keeping my th thumb and finger over it, it's spring loaded inside. Okay. Got the part, it just fell off my screwdriver actually, but I'm lifting up slowly here because again, this stuff is spring loaded underneath. Grab my tweezers, lift up on it. Is what it looks like. Lift up the deal just like that. Put it at the back off here off camera. Okay. It should lift straight up. Yes, it does. Let me check if it's spring loaded underneath there. No, it is not. Okay. So there's your tire. This part here. I'll have to check it. See how badly it's worn. To replace it. Okay. This idler tire is worn out take a good look as i said it's cracked and worn take a good look at that i'll have to remove it carefully because it's very possible if i remove it with too much force it's just going to disintegrate right in my hands i need to know the size in the early days i had a uh, plastic box with belts and idler tires in it and you would just simply take out the part and it had a chart in there that you could just simply uh, by number and also by picture you would just take the belt or the tire and put it on top of the picture of the belt inside the lid of the box and it would give you the size and you could just pick it up out of the box all right so there you are so let me see if I can go ahead and start taking this apart okay this tire is so old that I'm gonna have to and it's so dry it's stuck onto this wheel this plastic wheel 
and I've got to be careful not to bend or break this wheel or chip it up with any tool. So the only way I can get it off is to slowly chip away one end of the tire. All right. Generally this tire would be tight, but I'd be able to slip it off one end and go ahead and slip a, clean this after that and then slip on the new one. All right. So I'm just going to have to chip this away is all I can do. And I'll have to be very careful. It's going to take time. Everything is just so old. Let me work on this and get back. Okay, so I'll share with you what I'm doing. I have to take this belt right here, this tire rather. I'm going to take this razor knife and slowly at an angle cut the belt only. I want to avoid the wheel, the plastic. Do not, when a belt, when the tire rather is so old, it's dried and it's tight. You don't want to attempt to slip it over either one of the sides because you'll end up cracking one of these sides right here. All right, so keep that in mind. I'll be cutting the tire only at an angle and then chipping it away with a micro screwdriver, a flathead. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. I'm taking this razor knife and I'm cutting at an angle. So I'll go ahead and say whatever mistakes you make upon your Walkman or your person and any attempts to repair it are on you because this is very dangerous what I'm doing. This knife can slip and go under my thumb, my, under my thumbnail, anything like that. You could also damage your part if you're not careful. Again, I've been doing this many years, but it doesn't mean I can't make a mistake. This tire right here will also start to rotate, so I've got to hold it. It finally broke loose from being worn. And I'm just cutting it away bit by bit. It's very time consuming what I'm doing and dangerous. Alright. I have to keep continuing doing this on my lonesome. By the way, before you get too deep into it, take your caliper and measure the diameter of the port on the outside. Yep. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 millimeters. Well, finally, I've cut through the other side in between it. Now, I'll take a flathead micro screwdriver, and this belt is really hard from so many years of being on here. And I'll slide this off. Pull it apart. Wheel down there. And there's your port. You can just see how hard it is. It's just really solid on there. All right, so what I want to do is take my caliper now, and measure the inside. One millimeter is what I've got there. If 
here is essentially two millimeters. Now if you're wondering where you can find this tire, and if it turns out you can't locate someone, some company with one of these yourselves, and just find yourself uh, some rubber pipe with the same consistency, diameter, size, and do your best to cut one yourself. That's the only thing else you can do. The wheel, on the other hand, means you'll have to clean this stuff with alcohol and a uh, cotton swab. One thing I do want to show you this here is uh, when you get a unit like Sony, look at the construction inside. This is what's nice about repairing these. They're so much easier, although it may not look like it. This brass part in the center right here, the later units and cheaper units that do not have these parts like the brass in the center, they tend to crack right in this area. So check for those hairline cracks. All right, and you'll be able to see it on the other side too. It'll be a hairline crack. And we'll show you how to clean all this. It's much more than just, a, or a little bit more than just rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab. And if you're wondering how do you get down there and clean that old graphite grease out of there and start the process of that, introducing pipe cleaner. There you go. Just keep, just keep repeating this process right here. A Q-tip will not get down in there. Just to let you know. Do contact me at the, sodium media, at the social media outlets listed on the screen. And as always, remember, do subscribe. Until next time. See ya.